cool it with the, the ice cream and, and just kind of slow down a little bit. You're slurping your summer slushy, and then it hits you. Drink it, Harry. Come on, buddy. Drink, drink, drink. Go, Harry, go. Ow. Like Harry found out in Dumb and Dumber-er, too much cold slurping can cause brain freeze or... The technical medical term is sphenopalatine ganglion neuralgia. Yeah, what he said. Chris Rao teaches in Virginia Tech's School of Medicine. So a brain freeze is caused by your the little blood vessels that are in the roof of your mouth. They get super cold and what happens is those little blood vessels are going to be constricting and that will adjust the blood flow to the rest of your brain and your brain, the little nerves that are uh, that are wrapped around all those blood vessels, they interpret that as a, a painful stimulus. And, and so that's why you get your brain freezes. It may sound serious, but a little ice cream headache isn't dangerous and they go away pretty quickly. It's a pretty painful experience, but they usually last anywhere from like maybe 20, seconds to a little over a minute. Not everyone experiences brain freeze, and experts don't have a perfect answer for why that is. But if you do get them, there are a few tricks to thaw out the freeze. If you want to speed up that process of kind of shutting down those ice cream headaches, there's a couple of simple things you can do. You can either have a warm beverage or you can simply just uh, touch the uh, your, your tongue to the roof of your mouth and just kind of warm up that area again, and it'll shut down your your brain freeze quite rapidly. And if you want to avoid it completely, remember, it's not a race. Maybe cool it with the, the ice cream and, and just kind of slow down a little bit. A slow, steady, and savory approach may be the key to beating the freeze.